everyone on Interwebs. I am Rob with Elder Oak Productions, and today we are doing a review of the sensation sweeping the nation. Yes, I went there. Today we're, we're reviewing the Starbucks Zombie Frappuccino that is only here until October 31st, 2017. It's only here until this year's Halloween. So I ran out, I got a zombie frappuccino. I said, I have to go and review this for all the viewers of Elder Oak Productions. I got a tall 12 ounce zombie frappuccino, which has 190 calories in it. Not bad for a tall, not bad for just a small, you know, fun beverage. It is made with creme frappuccino syrup and zombie mocha drizzle, as well as apple powder. The mocha drizzle is a mocha sauce, which, which also seems to have some kind of vanilla flavor in it. The green caramel apple powder is supposed to lend a fruit and vegetable color to it, and some kind of acidic flavor. That's right, that's right from the verbatim from the Starbucks website. So here it is. Here's that zombie frappuccino from Starbucks. As soon as I walked in and I ordered, I picked up my order, the mocha drizzle has all descended to the bottom of the cup here and is not anywhere around the cup. And when I've seen other videos on YouTube, um, I've seen the drizzle coming around the cup and just bleeding down, giving that zombie effect for Halloween. But that didn't happen here. There was actually another food reviewer that I was watching where all of the syrup flew to the bottom. So the appearance was a little off to me from what I've seen, but you know what? Let's just give it a taste. Here's the zombie frappuccino from Starbucks. Cheers to you guys. There definitely is this um, really mocha flavor to it. Kind of like this chocolate snack pack pudding to it. That's what I kind of taste as soon as I, as I sip it. I'm getting a nice flavor of apple, but it is in the back of the throat. So it's not like a tremendous flavor. It's just, um, it's kind of like an afterthought flavor, um, but it is nice. It kind of gives you a really nice aftertaste to it. Definitely a strong flavor of cocoa um, and some hints of vanilla there. Uh, there's definitely a, also with that apple, it's a light caramel flavor. I wanna open up this I've exhumed the zombie from the tomb by opening it. See all that zombie buttercream there, whatever that is. Definitely an, a flavor of green apple. At first, it really smelled of like a strong raspberry flavor. Kind of want to mix it up. It smelled like it would have a strong raspberry flavor to it, but I'm really not getting much of that. I'm getting some of that citric acid that's in that mocha sauce, but not more than that. Kind of, kind of stir it up to see how it kind of tastes when all that stuff on the bottom comes to the top. And that looks really cool. It kind of looks like some kind of crazy science experiment if you ask me. All right, let's try it now. Now I'm getting some of that fruity flavor to it. After I mixed it all up together with that buttercream and, and with that mocha, with that zombie mocha drizzle and that apple powder, the caramel apple uh, apple powder, it all came together and gave this like banana flavor to the drink, which is pretty interesting. I, I kind of want it to taste more um, fruity because uh, the website's saying that they, you know there should, there should be flavor of apple and of cherry in there and of sweet potato, stuff like that. Um, and I'm really not getting that 100%. I am getting the apple in the back of the throat. Um, I wish there was maybe a raspberry flavor or a stronger cherry flavor in this. Um, and the prevalent flavor is definitely mocha and apple, um, which is nice. You know, it, it's definitely not a bad drink. It's very enjoyable for the season. And as I, as I stir and as it melts, all the machinations in there are really kind of giving me a apple banana kind of smoothie type flavor definitely a festive beverage if you really want a way to uh to have an interesting drink from starbucks if you are a starbucks fan i would definitely suggest that you go pick it up just for the fun of it you know just just for that 
Um, it looks cool. I mean, I wish it had that drizzle that I've seen online on YouTube of where that red zombie mocha drizzle is just all over the cup and they, they drizzle it like all around the cup. And But for this one, they must have just put it in the bottom because all of that, all of that drizzle was at the bottom over here and it wasn't much of it at all, um, which I was surprised to see. So at first you'll get that apple flavor, then you'll get that tremendous mocha flavor. That green apple flavor from that powder um, is really nice, mixed with the mocha. You get a good amount of caramel flavor to it. Um, not much cherry or, or any kind of uh, fruity or raspberry kind of flavor, which I, th which I think would be really nice here, and I think would be there if this location did properly drizzle that mocha drizzle all around the cup like a web, um, but that just didn't happen here. I'm gonna give this zombie frappuccino a three out of five nod rating, a would suggest, a solid would suggest, particularly because of the of the Halloween holiday coming out coming this Tuesday, and it's a limited time offer. Definitely a would suggest for that. Um, I think they should up the flavor on it for next year. They should really give you a more cherry flavor, more more apple flavor. Just pick that up. So if you're into Halloween, if you like the holiday, if you're gonna go trick or treating, this is definitely a nice treat to pick up at Starbucks. I have been Rob with Elder Oak Productions. Thank you for joining me as I review the zombie frappuccino from Starbucks. Hope you enjoy it and have a very safe Halloween. <laughs>